America's most wanted was asking the public to be on the lookout. If you have any information to help the investigation, please call us tonight. The brazen fugitives lived quite openly in this town, venturing from their motor home in this RV park. They've been coming in for the last couple of weeks every day for coffee and pastries. In the days leading up to their arrest, they tested their luck in the gambling town of Cripple Creek. And while police were combing through leads, three of the convicts partied at one of the biggest dance clubs in Colorado Springs. They just got out of prison. They want to go out and have fun. They're going to go wherever everybody in town tells them to go. I'm sure they talked to somebody. Where should I go tonight? Where am I going to meet women tonight? One of those women called the U.S. Marshals to report that Donald Newberry had been in the club, showing off his tattoos. Bad move. Serial rapist Larry Harper found his niche in a Bible study class led by Pansy Giles at the RV park where they lived. Uh, he got very comfortable with all of us. He felt safe with us, and he felt like he was part of a family. On the day before he took his own life, they spent hours together visiting a park called Garden of the Gods and attending this small church. The sermon's message, forgiveness. He took his highlight pen out, and he highlighted all the scriptures on forgiveness. And that's all that was marked in that boy's Bible because it was a brand new Bible. People in this town of 7,500 still can't understand why them, why here. Rapist Patrick Murphy Jr. answered that question when he was finally arrested, ending one of the biggest manhunts in U.S. history. Really, Colorado was just a random pick. Woodland Park, Colorado, a town that proudly calls itself the city above the clouds. But as the fugitives discovered, not a town that could conceal them for long. For today, Shelley Smith, NBC News, Woodland Park. It's 718. Once again, here's Katie. Matt, thanks. That unusual murder case in Florida we've told you about before goes to the jury today. A teenage boy is charged with killing a six-year-old girl, and the boy's attorneys have been blaming televised professional wrestling matches for the tragedy. NBC's Carrie Sanders has a report. Charged as an adult with first-degree murder, Lionel Tate, only 12 years old when his playmate died. Big for his age. Five foot four inches tall. 166 pounds. The victim, Tiffany Eunuch. Only six years old. One third his weight. She was in the first grade and she was beaten to death. But defense attorneys argue Tate, who is now 13 years old, was addicted to wrestling. That he was too young to understand the wrestling moves he mimicked from television could kill his young friend. I did it like this. Okay. And I backed up like that, and she hit it to pull. Tate's lawyers made this videotape and introduced it as evidence, a reenactment of what the youngster says happened that day in July 1999. She did. And then she fell down like this. Yeah. yeah. And then she started crying. But prosecutors say okay, six-year-old Tiffany okay. injured okay. more than just a rough face. bump into a pole. 35 serious injuries from a vicious beating. TV violence is not on trial. Professional wrestling is not on trial. It doesn't matter if we're all in agreement that there's too much violence in entertainment. It's not an excuse for murder. My son did not murder Tiffany. They were playing. His mother, a Florida Highway Patrol trooper, upstairs asleep when Tiffany died in the family room. She testified when she came downstairs, she began giving Tiffany CPR, but it was too late. I checked the pulse, and there was no pulse. Later this morning, the jury begins its deliberations in this case. If 13-year-old Lionel Tate is found guilty of first-degree murder, he faces 25 years to life in prison. For today, Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Fort Lauderdale. It's 721 on a Thursday morning. We'll be back in a moment. But first, this is Today on NBC. This is it, the final 29 hours of the fabulous wall-to-wall -wall clearance at Value City Furniture. It's your chance to take home a three-piece student desk set for just $29, a four-drawer chest for just $29, or a 72-inch bookcase for only $29. Our warehouse must be clear to make room for new merchandise, so you save like never before. This Friday, Saturday, and Super Bowl Sunday, the final 29 hours of the wall-to-wall -wall clearance at Value City Furniture. You just can't do any better. 
Is it impossible for you to believe that anybody could love you? Is she lovable? Yes, she is. Do you believe that? No. Mm -hmm. Fine. Do you worry all the time? Bad things happen every day, so why wouldn't it happen to me? Okay, help her. <laughs> Uncover your emotional style and find the hidden patterns you didn't know you had. Why you do the things you do and how to change it. This is absolutely a new day. Next over. Weekdays at 4, followed by First at 5. Prices have just been slashed throughout our store. At the one sale that really matters. Montgomery Ward's historic. Going out of business liquidation. You'll take dramatic new savings on hundreds of great items. From electronics and appliances. To domestics and apparel. Now save 30% off all children's apparel. Men's sportswear and clothing. And look at these new jewelry discounts. You'll take 40 to 60% off all fine jewelry. 40 to 60% off the hottest gold and gemstone fashions. Incredible. Only at Montgomery Ward's going out of business liquidation. Everything must go. So you must go. Major Artists, exciting productions. For nearly a quarter of a century, the Paramount Arts Center in Ashland has been the tri-state showcase for performing arts. WSAZ sponsors the Coasters and Drifters, appearing for two outstanding performances, Saturday, February 10th at 7 and 9.30. Come and enjoy the region's best live entertainment in the setting of a unique historic landmark, the Paramount Arts Center, Ashland. Coming up in our next half hour, in the wake of all the corporate layoffs we've been hearing about, what to do if it happens to you. And later we ordered some of our favorite products from those infomercials. We'll tell you how they turned out. But first, your local news. Dan and Light is different. It's now Dan and Light and Fit. With calcium, protein, 0% fat, healthy active cultures, and more vitamins than before. Taking our game to a whole new level. New improved Dan and Light and Fit. Light just got fitter. Pick it up, flip it up, pour it up, drink it up, coffee mate. Some big news from Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury dealerships. Saturday service hours. Now it's even easier to get the service you need and the convenience you want. Come in for great deals on batteries, shocks, tires, and more. And factory trained technicians who know your vehicle best. So for the right people, the right parts, and always the right prices, how does Saturday work for you? Quality care on Saturday at participating Ford, Lincoln, and Mercury dealerships. Let's play truth or dare. Truth, when you get a yeast infection, you use one of those messy creams, don't you? Truth, there may be an easier way. It's a pill, Diclocan. Truth, a pill that's as effective as the leading seven day creams without the mess. Ready for the dare? I dare you to call your doctor to find out more about Diclocan. Sure, it takes a little effort, but tell the truth. A pill that treats a yeast infection is worth it, isn't it? Oral Diclocan, the number one doctor-prescribed treatment for yeast infections. Kiss those creams goodbye. With Diplocan, there is an increased possibility of side effects compared with creams, including headache, nausea, and abdominal pain. In rare instances, serious effects in the liver and serious allergic reactions were reported. Do not use Diplocan if you are nursing. If you are pregnant or taking other medications, talk to your doctor. To prevent heart-related complications, do not take Diplocan if you are taking Propulsive. For more information, ask your doctor or call us. Oral Diflucan. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Its roomy interior makes it incredibly comfortable. Its 200 horsepower oh, makes it hard right. to sit still. Here we go. The new Chrysler Sebring go. LXI sedan. This is it, people. Let's move. I'm three. And now, it's a Consumer's Digest Best Buy. This is WSAZ News Channel 3 Today. Good morning, I'm Melanie Schaefer. It is 726 and 29 degrees this morning. Topping our news, there is something in the works at Toyota's Buffalo plant. A spokesperson for Toyota Motor Manufacturing, West Virginia Incorporated, says a big announcement is expected tomorrow morning, but they're not telling us just what it is. 
They do, however, tell a Huntington newspaper that the announcement does not involve the proposed V8 engine plant the automaker wants to build in the U.S. West Virginia Senator Jay Rockefeller and Governor Bob Wise will both be on hand for North Amer and Toyota's North American president will be there for the announcement tomorrow in Putnam County. We will be there as well. Also making news, a local high school student is dead after being involved in an accident in Wayne County. This accident happened last night along Route 60 in Cerrito. 18-year-old Kevin Allen Maynard died in the accident. He was a passenger in the car driven by another juvenile. That juvenile is in an area hospital listed in serious condition this morning. Police say their car crossed the center line and slammed right into a pickup truck. The driver of that pickup truck, Philip Benninger, Brenniger of Wortland, Kentucky, walked away from the wreck without any injury. One of the parents charged with setting a deadly house fire has pleaded guilty to two counts of neglect by a parent causing the death of a child. And they will likely take the stand today in that trial. Jeanette Ables is scheduled to testify against her former housemates, Barbara and Ricky Brown. The testimony is part of a plea agreement that Ables accepted late last night. Now, all three had been charged with setting their home on fire to collect insurance money. Their five children died in the fire in Weston in 1997. By pleading guilty to child neglect, prosecutors will drop the other charges against Abel's. Still, Abel's faces up to 30 years in prison. We'll step aside for a break here. When we come back, Scott Sable and your first warning forecast. Keep it right here. We do a large volume of new car and truck business. This gives us a huge inventory of used cars for you to choose from. We have one of the largest pre-owned and program centers in the Tri-State. All of our pre-owned and program cars come with a limited warranty. If we don't have what you're looking for, let us know. Chances are we can get it for you. Buying a new car or truck is a big event. Should not be a big hassle. And I promise you, it won't be at Ford County Ford. We're just real people trying to make a real difference. We treat you the way we like to be treated. Complete severe winter weather coverage, up-to-the-minute school closings, pinpoint forecasts, and live first warning weather reports. WSAC News Channel 3. We uh, had a couple of school closings this morning. The mm -hmm. list is growing as more snow continues to fall. That's right. A lot of it actually is tapering off. Good news there. The yeah. snow showers have pretty much tapered off in Charleston and Huntington. Let's take a look at first warning pinpoint Doppler 3. And if you are traveling, say along the Leviza and Tug Fork along Route 52, Along, uh, say, from Huntington to Williamson, the snow showers are continuing, but moving very quickly to the south and southeast. Snow showers in Charleston, all but just flurries left over right now. A couple of scattered ones left over along 79 and along 77 south. Keep it in the 20s today. We'll see sun, though, later on this afternoon. All right. Hang in there for a couple more hours, everybody. We'll see you soon. Have a good morning. Cash Explosion, Saturdays at 730.